What's up YouTube, Scott, Scotty Tradition, back with another video. Um, just wanted to take a moment today to uh, reflect on the passing of Willie Davis. He was one of the all-time Packer greats from the 60s. He was a defensive end on Vince Lombardi's uh, championship teams in the 60s. Um, he won uh, five, he was part of five NFL championship games, including two Super Bowls, and was really an awesome player on the field. He's really one of my all-time favorites. Uh, and an interesting guy off the field as well, um, Willie Davis was, uh, he has a master's degree in business. He was on the boards of, board of directors for several corporations and kind of a, just a unique business mind and kind of a interesting guy uh, for sure. And he will be missed. It's another uh, one, legend who's passed away in sports. Um, there's been quite a few lately. And it, as far as the Packers go, there's been just so many in the last two years. I mean, we're talking about NFL Hall of Famers, Bart Starr, Jim Taylor, Forrest Gregg, Willie Wood have all passed away in the last couple of years. And now can add one more Willie Davis. Um, so I do have his rookie card, of course, part of the all-time Packers set. This is uh, 1964 Philadelphia. Won a two big cards in the set, the other being Herb Adderley, who's still alive. So, just a great card. There's This is a pop of 69. I just checked, and there's only two graded higher. So, happy to have that card. Take a look at the back. Really, I really dig the Philadelphia sets from the 60s. So, kind of a cool piece. And, man, just, um, what can you say? Just... One of those all-time 60s Packer greats that was synonymous with Vince Lombardi. You know, Willie Davis is part of the all-decade team of the 60s, as well as a defensive end. And he will be missed. Another legend gone. Um, so what, what I'm going to do is um, leave you guys with a little video um, at the end here. And this is kind of how uh, Bill Curry, who was a, a center who played for the Packers in 66, uh, he kind of talks about Willie Davis and kind of what Willie Davis meant to his career and to his life in general. Uh, and Bill Curry, again, was a center for the Packers, and he's kind of reflects on Willie Davis. So I'll leave that with you. Hope you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching. Everyone welcomed him, but in his own mind, Curry did not feel welcomed by all the factions on the team. Here I was from College Park, Georgia, had never been in a huddle with an African-American. I wanted to be accepted, but I didn't know how. Trying to integrate into that great a team. Of course, we're, of course we're anxious, but we have the greatest defense I think ever assembled, and they always come up with a big play, always. All my life I had been taught, not by my parents, but by the culture in which I lived, that we were different and that we were better than other people. I can do too. In my heart of hearts, I knew there was something wrong with that, but I didn't know quite how to articulate it or how to behave because there was Lionel Aldridge, David Robinson, Herb Adderley, Willie Wood, and I thought that they would hear my southern accent, injure me, and send me home. And who could have blamed them? We were right in the middle of the civil rights movement. The cities were burning. Because of this tension I felt, I didn't know how to act. And uh, the most intimidating of them all was Willie Davis, the defensive captain, who was from Grambling State University, was working on his master's degree in business at the University of Chicago and shattered every racist stereotype that I had learned growing up in the South. Playing where you thought to be, you know, the fighters outside linebacker in football. And hell, having you there surely hadn't hurt me over these last five years. You taught me how to play defense, baby. Oh, I mean, that's my heart. I'm walking out of the dorm one night at St. Norbert College, and this voice comes out of the darkness. Bill, it was Willie Davis. I thought it was God. I just sat out in the grass, terrified. It was Willie Davis. He said, I'd like to speak with you. And I said, oh, no, this is it. He's going to tell me to go home. And uh, I said, okay. He said, I've been watching you at practice. I think you've got a chance to make our team. And I'm going to help you. When Nitschke's snapping your face mask and breaking your nose, and Lombardi's screaming in your face, 
and there's blood everywhere and you don't think you can take another step, you look at me and I'll get you through it. He didn't just help me to play in the NFL for 10 years. He changed my life because I was never able to look at another human being, any human being, in the same way I had. It was an unexpected, undeserved, unrewarded act of kindness by a great leader and a great man. I've never forgotten that moment. And that is the difference in the outstanding teams and the others. If you got Willie Davis, nobody can beat you.